What's up everyone and welcome back to another video of me staring into a camera in an empty studio. My name is Seb Peterson and I am a pastry chef and content creator located in Stockholm, Sweden. And no, there's no polar bears in Sweden. There's loads of snow, but there's no polar bears in Sweden. Got it? Today we're gonna follow the trend and we are going to do it. I am of course talking about what's in my camera bag 2021. So starting off with the bag itself, I'm carrying a douchebags hugger 30 liters. And for me, I've always been a big bag guy. I always like to have a bigger bag so I can always fill it up with everything because I always end up carrying a lot when I'm out. This bag fits me perfect. It's not too big and it's not too small. Important that it is not too small. What I else do actually love about this is that it has a big front access. I'm tired of all of those camera bags having the access through the back and you have to lay down your bag on the ground and it ends up being very dirty. So we do have a big access on the front, which is great. A smaller access on the top. And this is where I keep all of my adapters, connections, because if you're an Apple user. What I do actually miss a little bit is that it would be like a secret access from here down to the bigger one. For example, in a normal camera bag or in the Peak Design bag I used to have, you could always get an access into the big one. So, bear in mind. On the side, we have a big access for a laptop. I'm carrying a 16 inch MacBook Pro. It fits perfect. So let's open up the front access and I'll show you the absolute best solution for a photographer. Here we have it, the CIA from Douchebags. A smaller camera cube that just fits all of my camera gear that I carry daily perfectly. Of course, you get a lot of different type of walls, custom made it, build it your own way. Also some straps on the sides if you wanna attach something to it. So this is the absolute best part of the douchebag system. And imagine if you have a smaller cube on the inside and the bigger cube on the outside. That's usually how I travel for photo shoots and for jobs like that. Canon EOS R. It's my to-go-to camera. It's my first to hand camera and I am using the smaller cage. I've more or less got used to the grip around the cage and I, it doesn't bother me at all to having the cage. I find more solutions of having an extra shoe, having those small holes to get attachments on there. I know there's new ones, R6, R5, shooting even better, even better video, but this one, it's gonna stick with me for a while before I update this one. Biggest lens first, 70 to 200, 2.8, Mark II IS. And this is a big, big bastard. It shoots really fast, autofocus is incredible. And the depth of field that you could get from this lens in 200 to getting that. And it is heavy. A lot of photographers don't really like to carry around with this, but we have a kind of relation, me and her, I guess. So if I don't take this with me, I will always end up in that situation where I need that depth of feel of the 200. My back takes the work and I can still get my 200 with me. So next lens, possibly not the best match of having a 70 to 200 and having this lens, but I'm borrowing this from Jimmy and I can't really leave it. When I need to get that close up, I will need a 100 millimeters macro. This is the absolute sharpest lens for food photography I've ever, ever, ever seen. To get up that really, really crispy close ups, gotta have that macro. And with the 70 to 200, you can't go close enough. So, Jimmy, gotta say it. Let me 
gonna get it back. The next lens that I just carry around with, don't use so often, is the Nifty 50, the smaller version. I mean, it's a great lens, but since it's just doesn't weigh anything, I keep it on my variable anti filter adapter because I need the adapter more than I need the lens, but it doesn't take any space and any weight in my bag, so I just keep it like this. Batteries, I like to be a bit over OCD organized, so I try to keep everything separate in the bag, in smaller bags, and in those bags, I like to have smaller bags with everything labeled on them. Bags of memory cards, I keep most of my SD cards, micro SDs, and also an SSD drive for the Ninja if I would like to record on the Ninja. In here, I also keep my Samsung T5 one terabyte, which I'm recording with right now into the camera. Adapters. Hey, Apple. What's also great about douchebags is that I designed this smaller purchase. So in here, I keep chargers, larger stuff, extra cables, that stuff. What I'm trying to do in my daily bag is to have everything connected to USB-C. Since I'm using a 16-inch MacBook Pro, there's only USB ports. And if I have everything connected to USB-C, just gonna save me a lot of cables and power supplies. The grandpa wallet, no, it's not my grandpa's wallet. This is not my daily wallet that I carry in my right back pocket. This is the big wallet that I never use. It's just filled up credit cards that I never use, but it's nice to have it here. I guess I just keep it here so I don't lose it. A ruler, possibly not the first in mind to have in your daily carriage, but there's always so many times that you want to measure something. Do you have a ruler? Do you have a ruler? No, no, who carrying a ruler? I am. So I always have a ruler if I need to measure something, which I ending up doing like a lot of times. Super jello notebook. And it's filled with a lot of recipes, a lot of crazy production ideas. I keep it there because I like to write down things if I just come up with them. Otherwise I write them in my phone or I keep them in my notebook. Recipe secrets, this is the one. Apple's magic mouse. This is something that I recently just discovered to use a bit more. And this just helps me a lot to get a lot quicker in the programs. When I do editing, I have two different screens, so it's easy to have one mouse to just control everything. Super old version of the AirPods. I haven't updated my AirPods. I don't like in-ears. I can't have in-ears. I have, I don't know, it's something wrong with my ears. I just, no. So it's still a pandemic out there, so I keep of course, a face mask. And if you're one of those out there wondering why you're using the textile one, I have shitloads of them. And I wash them in the washing machine to get rid of all the bacterials and all of that. Finished. And last but not least, possibly the most important for my daily work, I am carrying a 16 inch MacBook Pro from the age of who know when. So that sums up what's in my camera bag or my daily bag more or less in 2021. And if you want to have what's in my camera gear, as in going for a massive photo shoot, but still be able to travel, leave me a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out the next episode. Peace.